Hi, and, uh, and welcome to the workshop. Uh, I had a request the other day to, uh, to show a bit more about uh, my cameo layouts and the way I use an LED lighting strip um, built into them. And so they're a self-contained system um, and some thoughts about how I do that and why I do that. Um, and so uh, rather than uh, try and answer that on the blog, I thought I'd put together a short video. So it is only going to be short today, um, but hopefully uh, informative and give you an idea through both words and pictures rather than just photos of me waffling on uh, in written form. So uh, let's take a look. So all my cameo layouts are designed to sit on a shelf. So there's no real baseboard as such. Effectively, I've moved the structure that we tend to associate with the baseboard, the framing has been moved above. Uh, and so effectively the ends and the back uh, and the front piece, they form that box structure that provides the stiffness. And I tend to fit it as a removable lid just to help with um, with that sort of construction, balancing scenery and things, but the, but the lid's removable, okay? Um, and what you've got effectively is um, the back scene's often quite pale. I paint the inside of the lid, as you can see, is painted white, and you've got a strip of uh, LEDs stuck to the back of this front piece here. Um, and the depth of that does vary slightly depending on which layout I'm working on or I've built, um, but it doesn't need to be overly deep. I mean, we're talking only just over, well, an inch, inch or so um, of that top helmet. So you can build one of these layouts in a really small space. I mean, from about 18 centimeters tall, um, and it provides that letterbox view, which is so appealing. Um, Let's take a look at the actual bits and pieces themselves and how it all plugs together and works. So taking a look uh, underneath the uh, the lid, um, all I've got is a, a standard laptop power supply. Uh, I think I got this from, from Amazon, but um, these days I do tend to prefer to try and avoid them as a supplier. Um, yeah, one, 12 volts, five amps. Uh, five amps will give you about five meters of an LED strip. Um, so this sort of uh, adapter is suitable for, for most um, cameo layouts even if you do use more than one strip you can see here the the LED tape um, it, it's self adhesive on the back although I do tend to apply a little bit of uh, hot glue as well to hold it on and each of these white spots is the LEDs and what you've got down that tape is like a ribbon of wires and at um, intervals is like a, a clear space in the plastic where you can solder onto the onto pads and so what I've got at this end is uh, just a pair of wires that are soldered onto a two and a half mill um, socket that mates up with the uh, with the adapter so if I plug that in we might get a bit bright, uh, blinded because it's quite bright upside down but I mean that's all we're doing okay and so um, what you see is that obviously the light's shining into the scene this way but you do get a little bit of the reflection off the lid and that's what gives us a fairly even spread of colour within the uh, within the space. Uh, the LED tape I think I've just got the end of a reel here um, comes wound up, you get five meters usually. Uh, this is a, a warm, natural white color. I tend to prefer that for my own scenes, but you can uh, get different color temperatures. I'll put a link to what I use on the uh, on the YouTube video so you can take a look and make your own decisions, but, uh, but that's what, what, what uh, I choose to use. And obviously, so you take off what you want and, uh, and you stick it in place. And on my larger layout on Beaverbrook, effectively I've got this at the front and then I've got a piece um, of tape that runs about so far in and then a piece along the back um, it's a much deeper scene and it, the um, that light source is much higher uh, against the layout but in these small layouts I genuinely don't think you need more than this you do get a slight shadow at the front of the layout unavoidable and um, there's not much you can do about that if you're building a shelf layout and you can't really have the pelmet any further out so it's just something to be aware of to avoid putting taller structures at the front and um, keep your track you know sort of a good inch a couple of inches preferably from the front edge and then you won't get too much shadow um, but that's really all there is to it so uh, yeah so uh, I hope that's been interesting uh, as I say um, it really is a bit of a, a whistle stop tour um, and not really a focus on the layout itself so if you're interested in more have a look uh, in my uh, in my library if you like or whatever it's called the playlists uh, in my YouTube channel um, if you like what you see please do consider subscribing I try and put these videos together every now and again. Uh, I do know that uh, a lot of you do appreciate that. So thank you for your comments and your likes. Um, and uh, until next time, uh, see you again soon.